Hello and welcome back to the Orchid Saga. Yes, this is box number two. If you saw me for my first unboxing, birthday unboxing, you noticed uh, probably that I was talking about another box coming. So this is the box I'm talking about. And uh, I have two most wanted orchids and one of them is in this box. And I have a second most wanted orchid is also in this box. So I barely can believe it. I'm really excited to open this box. They came from France and I think they've been on transport for about seven days, maybe a little bit longer. I'm just not completely remembering it out of, uh, out top of my head, on top of my head. But uh, anyhow, so yeah, I'm going to uh, zoom in a little bit more like this and uh, we are going to get them out you can see that i uh, did move some stuff that's only the tape and my uh, address so i didn't open the box before so it's really uh, new, completely new to me as well so of course first we need to open the tape and then we should be able to open the box completely so here we go and those I have a few more orchids he has uh, had a few more on sale that I really uh, would like to grow on but um, yeah the ones that I'm talking about most wanted one are orchids that don't like much interruption so I'm happy they are here and hopefully hopefully they will uh, recover from uh, all they uh, have been through these last couple days and I'm just opening up the first one. This one has uh, a fairly amount of leaves, but it's looking good. And here we go. Maybe you already recognize the uh, genus of this one. But yeah, it's my uh, most favorite genus of all. That's for sure. Let me... Uh, well, actually, I'm going to remove the tape later on because otherwise it will take a little bit too long. But look at this tag. This is my most second one. It's the uh, Mil Miltoniopsis Lilian Nakamoto. That's the almost uh, black and white one. So yeah, this is my second most wanted orchid. And this one is uh, having a new growth here coming from this bulb. Two bulbs and a new growth, so that uh, should be enough, a fairly amount of leaves. So I think this one is uh, strong enough to survive uh, everything it's been through. Let's uh, grab another one. I have four in total. So, <clears throat> and I think this is the one for me, the most wanted one. Let me check. The tape is a little bit hard to uh, with the scissors. I have another pair here. So here we go. This should one. Now, it's also it's the tape is very strong apparently. Or my scissors aren't sharp enough. <laughs> Normally they are sharp enough. So maybe I did too much. Whoops, unboxing these days. <laughs> Who knows? But here we go. Here we go. I see uh, a fairly amount of beautiful green leaves. And again, you probably saw it. But this is also a Maltoniopsis. And this one seems to have two new growths. One here and one a, a little bit more established here. And I see something that looks like a third one there and a bulb so it looks very uh, vigorous and yes this is this is she this is she you guys Miltoniopsis Andrea West Hof or H-O-F this one is on my list for five six years I think and finally I found it for sale in the EU. I saw it in, uh, for sale in America more often than uh, in, in the uh, U, uh, EU, but uh, yes, here she is. I'm over the moon. And I must admit, for both of them, 
80% is convinced they are really it, but the last 20% uh, need to see the blooms first. You, you never know. Or could you imagine that this one would be mislabeled? <laughs> anyhow, anyhow. But yeah, I'm, I'm, they're looking good. And of course, if I uh, don't know wrapping, we will have a look at them uh, all at once. So we can have a last, probably better look. But first we uh, continue this on, on uh, boxing. And here we go. Let's try to get a tape off. Oh. It's kind of difficult. Maybe I can uh, pull it out. Let me see. Like this. There we go. A little bit of media. A bulb with a new growth, and that was uh, uh, actually two new uh, bulbs, I'm sorry. We have one bulb here, another bulb here, and a new growth there. So that one looks well. I see some roots inside of the pot. Not that much, but no algae or something. I barely can read this, but it's the Ali something up lace high low gold, I think. I will put the uh, exact name in, in the screen so you can have a better look. And my pronunciation uh, doesn't help, I think, but uh, this one looked so stunning as well. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to buy that one as well. I'm going to give it a try. It's such a beautiful blooms. So I'm really, really happy with that one as well. And then we have the last one. So far, they uh, they really do look uh, look good. Uh, yeah, that is. Uh, yeah. Well, first let's try to get the tape up. I'm going to give it a try uh, again with my scissors. It should work. There we go. Yeah. Just needed a little bit more power, but I'm very gently with these guys because I like them so much. So much here we go this one has even more bulbs i thought it was a one bulb division but that one didn't make it and he uh, he refunded me for it so that's uh, that's perfect but this has a uh, one bulb here another one here and another one there so beautiful uh, way to start uh, with this orchid and a bit more roots in the pot than the other one uh, this is the Odontoglossum crispum variety f f whoops, Fusa just something. Uh, again, I will have the name in the screen, but I apologize. But this one is fairly rare as well, I believe. So yeah, I thought, yeah, while I'm uh, <laughs> buying plants, let's put this one in the basket as well. Really, really happy with it. It uh, it's, uh, does uh, look look well so what i do i will uh, clean up a little bit and then um, we will have a look at them in inside of the greenhouse so we can have a better view of all of them so i will be right back and as you can see we are now in the greenhouse and here they are and yeah i must admit they do look uh, look uh, very uh, healthy i'm really really happy and yeah i almost sound surprised but most of the times to be honest on the pictures the plants do look better than in real life but in this uh, case for me it's the other way around and that's that's one of the first times as, if i remember correctly so yeah we have some damages on the uh, all the bulb here but i don't think that's a problem on the lillian because it's uh, shooting out a beautiful new growth the other bulb next to it is a little bit smaller so probably that was uh, the division i believe this is uh, most of these plants are divisions of his own of the mother plants he uh, he has so uh, but yeah they do uh, do look very well so what i'm going to do now because they are fairly dry i'm going to water them uh, uh, with RO water and just a little bit of seaweed and i'm going to spray the leaves the plants completely with a uh, pesticide just to be uh, to be sure or to be safe so uh, that's what I always do and I let them dry in front of this uh, this van here I'm sorry there 
So uh, they have quite some air movement around them, and I, I, I do imagine that when you, uh, because they have the, they were posted and they were packed up very closely, they uh, might enjoy a little bit of more air for a few hours, or at least don't mind, I think. So uh, that's what I, I'm going to do, and then if they establish fairly well, if I see new root growth, etc., continuing or starting again, then it's time to uh, repot them, because all of them, at least the two Miltonia, Miltoniopsis and that one in the back, has a new growth, and this one is the Odontoglossum, not yet. I cannot see a new growth yet, but that one has a healthy root system, so that isn't uh, a problem. But if I do see new root tips in the pot starting, then I will repot as well. I, this is how I always done it and never had any problems. But if you are uh, not sure, of course, you should wait to a new growth, something like this. This one I can see is making new roots already. But because it needs to establish a little bit, it's been through uh, quite a, a lot, of course. It's coming from France in transport. Now it's here in a different climate. So sometimes the roots will stop growing. But with the RO water and seaweed, I found most of the times within a few days, they start again. They, they, the seaweed is really making them uh, happy, uh, <laughs> I could say. So they start uh, with the uh, new roots or the oldest, they regrow, start regrowing them. And then it's uh, fine to do a repot on them. So yeah, can you believe it? I'm, I can't. <laughs> the Andreo West, five, six years, something like that. Then the Lillian came across. I was in an in instant in love with that one as well. So beautiful. So yeah, and well, like I said, 8% is convinced these are the two ones they should be, the last 20 uh, need to see the blooms, and then I'm 100% con of course uh, convinced. But yeah, it seems like a very fair and uh, kind seller, so uh, I think everything uh, should be fine. So you guys, I'm going to enjoy this for a very long time. I sh like I said, I cannot get my hand or head around it, but here they are. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.